All right, so Mondays are dedicated to money, and what better way to get started than with a plan? I spoke with Ruby Shen from the Department of Accounting and Finance at Alabama A&M, and she has some tips for us. From soaring inflation to rising interest rates, we can expect the economic landscape to remain predictably unpredictable. You know, with the high inflation and everything, you know, in, uh, in 2021, the savings, uh, the personal saving rate dropped to 10.5%. Uh, While there's not much we can do to influence the economy, taking a look at your financial picture can help you gain control. First, financial planning is for all levels of income. The, the bottom line is everybody should have a uh, you know, plan and uh, um, there's no income limit. So if you're just making hourly wages, you still need to have a uh, um, plan. Understand how to properly create a budget with short and long-term goals. So uh, we're talking about here is you know, to have a person to have a complete picture of um, this person's um, short-term and the long-term goal. The most important uh, thing is always, you know, you just start young. Prioritize an emergency fund. The emergency fund is um, getting more and more important um, in this economic uh, environment. You know, during recession, you know, you, you'll see these days, you'll see a lot of uh, big technology companies you know, have started laying off people. And so, um, when um, a person is planning for an emergency fund is really important. If you want to stay on top of debt, the key is using cash. So supposedly if you just set a certain amount of uh, cash uh, allowance for your um, grocery shopping and your maybe just you know, some entertainment eating out, and then once you know that pile of money is gone, you cannot um, do anything else. Also, before you try a debt consolidation company, Shen warns to do your research because it could potentially be a scam. And you can find all these tips and more at fox54.com.